Hello, everyone. I'm Jia Yuan Meng from Tianjin University. Today, my topic is Precise Single Interval Temporal Orienting Modulates the Pre Stimulus Alpha Phase in Frontal Central Area. As we all know, accurate orienting cognitive resources to a specific moment is fundamental for adaptive behaviors. It is believed the brain state before the oriented moment has substantial impacts on subsequent behavior and neural processing. However, it still remains unclear how temporal orienting is nearly implemented in the pre-stimulus period, especially the ones induced by single interval timing in millisecond time scale. To solve this problem, we designed a temporal template matching task in which the stimulus was double flash with 400, 600, or 900 millisecond single interval. Subjects were required to press the button as quickly as they can to indicate the onset of the second flash, whether it emerged at 400 millisecond or not, whether it emerged at the 600 millisecond or not. According to above experimental design, task 1 had no oriented moment, while the oriented moment for task 2 and task 3 were 400 millisecond and 600 millisecond respectively, just as the red arrows showed. In data analysis, as the blue arrows showed, the moment of 400 millisecond before which there was no stimulus, was defined as selected moment. Therefore, for 400 milliseconds, the above task led to three conditions. That is, no orienting, temporal oriented, and unoriented. For short, we call them NO, TO, and UO conditions, respectively. EEG data of 42 healthy subjects were recorded. Behavioral performances, intertrial conference, event related spectral perturbation were analyzed. One we repeated ANOA was conducted, and the Bophony creation was used when necessary. Reaction time and accuracy were calculated to measure the behavioral performances. Consequently, even when faced with identical stimuli, subjects behaved significantly different in distinct conditions. It confirmed the successful manipulations of the temporal orienting. In ITC analysis, after the N1 confidence induced by the first flash, ITC differences among the three conditions began to emerge and mainly located in the frontal central area. Comparing to NO condition, the precise temporal orienting led to ITC enhancement in the delta and theta of frequency band. Moreover, the TO condition had the largest ITC in alpha frequency band. Uh, that indicates the alpha ITC can be enhanced significantly before the oriented moment. Well, as to ERSP analysis, no pre-stimulus ERSP differences were found across distinct conditions. Okay, let's have a conclusion. This study found significant pre-stimulus alpha ITC enhancement in the frontal central area during single interval temporal orienting. It not only provides new neural evidence supporting the claim that a top-down control of the alpha phase could be a neural mechanism underlying temporal orienting, but also demonstrated such a mechanism still works in single interval timing in a very precise time scale. Well, that's all. Thank you.